inequalities. Part three. In today's lesson, you will learn how to solve inequalities with negative variables. With what? I really don't like those negatives. Now you all know that I am not a negative person, but sometimes you have to consider the negative. Look at this inequality. What is touching the letter? A, a negative, exactly. So if you're gonna try and solve this inequality, the first thing you do is you have to circle the letter, which has a negative attached to it. Okay, you can go ahead and solve. Now that you circled the negative, you can make a T-bone steak. Remember that this seven, because there is nothing next to it, it is actually a positive seven. So what is the opposite of positive seven? Negative seven, very good. So subtract seven from both sides. Remember, what you do to one side, you have to do the same thing to the other. What did I say? Good. So you have seven, take away seven. That's zero. Bring down the negative R, okay? This inequality is going to say R, what sign is this? What does this inequality say? Less than left. Very good. So it says negative R is less than or equal to. Let's take a look. We have negative 1 and negative 7. So are they the same signs or different signs? Same signs, add and keep. What I want you to do from now on is when you see the same signs, I want you to say negative, negative, negative. Say it with me, say negative, negative, negative. Because they're the same signs, right? So let's add seven plus one because same signs add. What's seven plus one? Eight. Very good. So it's negative eight. So now look at this inequality. It says, read it with me. Read it with me, Isa. Okay, it says negative R is less than or equal to negative eight. So you have a very funny situation because you have a negative in front of a variable. There's really an invisible number here. It is actually an invisible one. Miss Cotron, this is Mr. Cotron. Is this a negative? Uh, yeah, Dad, that's a negative one. Stop what you're doing, drop everything, and sing this song. My daughter, she made this song up, it's very good. Okay, when you see a negative, you're going to hold up your hands like this and you're gonna sing this song. Listen, it goes like this, negative flip, flip the sign. Divide by negative one and flip the sign. Okay, let's try that again. Everybody, are we ready? Let's see. All right, Miguel, he's always ready. Here we go. You see a negative next to the variable. You're gonna say this. Negative flip, flip the sign. Divide by negative one and flip the sign. Okay, so why did I make up that crazy song? Well, mostly because I'm crazy. But um, the reason why I made up that song is because when you see a negative, this is what you do. Negative flip. Before you flip that sign, because that's what's going to happen to the inequality, you're going to divide by negative 1, okay? So there's a negative 1 that's married to Miss R, and Miss R wants to be single, so she gets rid of this negative 1. We never need anybody negative, so we have to get rid of them. Okay, divide by negative one. Once you divide by negative one, you flip the sign, and it changes from, this says less than, okay, everyone make less than with your hands. Let's go, less than, less than, and you're gonna flip over to the other side, and it's gonna become what? Greater.
easier then. Very good. So, negative 1 divided by negative 1 is 1. Okay, you're left with R, flip the sign, is greater than or equal to. Then you have negative 8 and negative 1. Remember Bob's cousin. He says to you, a negative divided by a negative is positive, bro. Okay, and negative divided by negative is going to be a positive, what? 8 divided by 1 is 8. So, your inequality is R is greater than or equal to 8. So, let's go ahead and graph that inequality. Okay, you make a number line. The only thing you have to put on your number line is 8. Okay, that's going to be on the positive side. Now, is it going to be an open circle or a closed circle? Does it have a little line? Then, splat, it's a closed circle. So, R is greater than 8. So which direction is it going to go? To the... To the... To the right. Very good. Okay? And this inequality reads, all numbers greater than 8. Let's do another example. Read this inequality with me. Negative 3 minus B is... Greater than 14, okay? So, the first thing you're going to want to do is circle what? Circle the negative B. That's right. And then you can start to solve your inequality. You have a negative 3 over here. What is the opposite of negative 3? Positive 3. So, you add 3 to both sides. All right. So, negative 3 and positive 3, it doesn't exist. It's 0. Bring down the negative b, okay? You're also going to bring down the inequality, which says greater than, and add 14 plus 3. That's easy, right? 14 plus 3. 4 plus 3 is 7, and then also bring down the 1, so that is 17. <gasps> is that a negative? Is it a negative? Drop what you're doing! Everybody sing. Ready? Negative flip. Flip the sign. Divide by negative one and flip the sign. Okay. I always drop my marker, so hold on. Okay. So you're going to divide by negative one. When you have a negative, I want you to put a one there because that's what's there. Divide by negative one. Then you're going to flip the sign. This was greater than, right? It was greater than. Okay? So let's flip it. Greater than, what's the opposite? Less than. Okay? So negative 1 divided by negative 1 is 1. You're left with B is less than. Remember, it's going to point to the left. Okay? 17 divided by negative 1. Here we go. You have a positive 17 and a negative 1, okay? A positive divided by a negative is, what goes here? What goes here? Negative, good job, okay? So, here, when you divide by negative 1, all it does is change the sign of 17. It changes it from positive 17 to negative 17, that's right, all right? And your new or your inequality is going to be B is less than negative 17. So let's go ahead and draw this inequality on a number line. We're going to graph it. Okay, here is 0. Where would negative 17 be? To the left or to the right? Yeah. Negative to the left. So negative 17 will be somewhere here. Now, this is interesting because if you talk about what is less than negative 17, what is less, that's a smaller number. Remember that less is to the left. So is this an open circle or a closed circle? Open. So you're going to open this circle and you're going to shade everything to the left. And your solution reads... All numbers less than negative 17. So this is how 
to solve inequalities when you have a negative variable. Even though I don't like the negatives, we still have to do them. See you tomorrow.